Heracles Watch 2120 update. I'm Ryan Hartnett III, and I'm at Mission Control in Guanajuato, North Mexico. We are live for the first time with the valiant crew of the Heracles. The ship sent out to save our civilization from aliens that are hell-bent on oh, destroying Ryan, our Ryan, very way. Uh, I need to interrupt you just for a second there. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, Commander Macon Cook. Yes, Commander. We don't know what it is we're going to find when we get out there, and uh, if there are extraterrestrials, we, uh, we certainly cannot ascertain exactly what their intentions might be. Well, it is true that you're about to exit the solar system, right? Oh, yes, sir. That's correct. Well, before we get going too far, can I ask you to introduce yourself and your crew to our audience? Oh, certainly. Uh, I am Commander Macon Cook. I am from Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, I'm the mission commander. I'm Master Sergeant Samuel Ryan. I'm from London, and I'm one of the mission engineers. I'm Second Lieutenant Mark Dickinson from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I'm the pilot. I'm First Lieutenant Elizabeth Hewitt. I'm from all over, but most recently from Boulder, Colorado. I'm mission engineer in charge of the Heracles propulsion system. I'm Meta Schuyler. I'm from LA. I'm the mission specialist in encryption and computer science, and I'm also in charge of the CATS computer systems. I am Dr. Kunar Andrews. I am from Western Alaska. There is no proper name for the exact place. I am the mission specialist in linguistics. I'm Dr. Ellison Branch. I have done work in the area of theoretical extraterrestrial biology, virusology, and uh, microbiology. In fact, I've actually won the Sirhan Prize three times for my work in organic computing and artificial intelligence. The uh, cat that Ada spoke of is actually loaded with some of my very own nanoware. And you're from? Uh, yes, uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Earth. I'll be handling the medical duties on this mission, um, as well as just hang nails and the like. Thank you everyone. We know you haven't been on route very long, but how is everyone holding up so far? Well, Ryan, uh, we have a spectacular crew here on board. Uh, they're all professionals and uh, everything's going well. We've all settled in nicely. We're about an hour from Pluto Station and uh, soon thereafter we will be exiting the heliosphere. Uh, we don't exactly know yet what the bow shock event will be like, but figure we will uh, weather it fairly well. It hasn't really been accurately mapped yet, so we're looking forward to doing that as well. Yeah, so how's the view? It's beautiful, sir. Now, we didn't get close enough to see Jupiter on the way out, but, but we did get within 10,000 kilometers of Saturn, and well, that's, that's just, that just takes your breath away. And, you know, I've been on many orbital missions on Earth, but I never imagined being close enough to see the rings of Saturn. You know, even through a monitor or a single porthole, it's just amazing. One window. Is that true? Yes, sir. You know, our cameras and monitors are capable of providing imagery much at a higher resolution than the human eye. But there's something to be said about seeing with your own eyes. I couldn't help but notice that Miss Schuyler is not only the youngest member of the crew, but also the only one without a rank or a title. Miss Schuyler, do you feel out of place amongst all these experts? You're certainly a charmer. Uh, Ryan, listen here. She's already proven to me that she's the right person for this mission. There are 72 computer systems on board with programming in six different computer languages, two of which are in Russian. She's already reconfigured their comm traffic to speed all that up, and as far as I'm concerned, she's the only person on Earth with the capabilities of doing that. Uh, you certainly couldn't do it, Ryan. I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I just, I meant no disrespect. I certainly wouldn't want Miss Schuyler upset with me. She might make my credit rating plummet. <laughs> Ryan, I swear, watch your manners or we will end this right here. We got a lot better things to do up here than talk to you. Uh, moving on. How's the food up there? I understand that different dishes are being added and removed from the menu each week? That is correct. Uh, to prevent us from becoming bored with our choices, Gaia has locked down the food stores. Uh, the food distribution system chooses what and uh, when we will eat. Um, each week. I personally cannot wait to get past Mexican week. Gastronomical distress in closed quarters is very difficult to deal with. That was a joke. Over. Okay. Uh, what about this radically new engine design? I hear you are the chief designer of the system, Dr. Hewitt. Would you care to comment on your baby's progress so far? Yes, thank you. 
The Hewitt hyperplasma engine is capable of taking us beyond the speed of light. Uh, much like the flight of a bumblebee, it shouldn't work, but nonetheless has performed in an exemplary fashion so far. I expect us to approach light speed within six weeks if we can maintain constant acceleration that length of time. Does the Heracles carry enough fuel for such a long journey? Two years round trip, I'm told. No, but that's what the H foils are for. Switch us to the external view, please, Cat. While we're in the solar system, the foils are retracted to protect our hull. Once we exit the system, the foils will be deployed to collect additional hydrogen in order to help us with our fuel supply. That should be more than sufficient to supplement our onboard supply. Interesting. Lieutenant Dickinson, how's she handling so far? She's a little grumpy. <laughs> oh, you meant the Heracles. <laughs> <laughs> the ship's doing fine. Um, so far, the, the computer's doing most of the piling, so I'm just a backup system. A couple of you mentioned a cat. Am I to understand you have some sort of computerized cat on board? No, not exactly. CAT. C-A-T. Computerized Assistant Technician. It's a robotic pod that we use to access dangerous areas of the ship or to assist us when other crew members are occupied. You have to remember that there are only seven of us. We work six hours on and six off around the clock. That doesn't leave many options in the event you need a helping hand on a project. The CAT is very handy. Off we go. Interesting. I'm sorry, we're out of time. I'm being told that we have to let you get back to the business of not running into Pluto. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you, Ryan. For those of you watching online, you can follow the progress of the Heracles and her crew at guynet.us. Thank you, everyone. Good night. This has been a Heracles Watch 2120 update. Stay tuned for other updates, reports, and retractions. This is Gaia's own Johnny Gelson saying good night and good luck.